that a girl? Is that's a girl, dude. That's a girl. Has hair girl has a beard. What are you talking about? That's normal that's nowadays. Wow, that's are normal. you assuming gender? I'm a female. I'm a female. I identify as a female. We won a race, dude. Dude, you gotta give us one run. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. And also, happy Friday. Hope you guys are ready for the weekend. And uh, before we jump into today's video, I have something pretty cool, pretty important. Um, you obviously know we just got done with the first ever Mustang Fest of 2022. Uh, pretty much, Mustang Week announced that they were no longer a thing. And we have a group of people, Andy Howard, Dylan. Dylan, what's your last name? I feel like I know it. Anyway, Dylan, they went ahead and created their own version of Mustang Week which is Mustang Fest. And uh, we obviously went, you guys saw some of the content and I have a little bit left to share with you all today in this video. But with Mustang Fest and Mustang Weeks and in the past, I always, always, always bring the car and I bring a limited edition DVP squad slash Mustang Week, well in this case, Mustang Fest merchandise. So this year I went ahead and got our first ever DVP squad slash Mustang Fest shirt made and we have like little Hades right there. I did go and get 75 of these shirts made and there's only 75. They're never being released again and um, I wanted to go ahead and give everybody the opportunity that wasn't able to make Mustang Fest an opportunity to go ahead and buy one today. So right now on the website, you have a chance to go ahead and be a complete OG of the DBP squad slash Mustang Fest merchandise and get yourself a shirt, shipping's included, and you know, it's a perfect little piece of memorabilia for the first ever Mustang Fest event. Do me the favor, do yourself the favor, go to the link in the description, 9 to shop go get yourself a shirt, get your family some shirts. If you go to Mustang Week every year, I'm sure I'll see you next year and I I want to see everybody repping the shirt. But wait, there is another thing I want to go ahead and announce with these shirts. Since I only got 75 of these made, I'm going to go ahead and do a little giveaway, but I'm not going to tell you what it is until the shirts are gone. So if you go and purchase one of these right now, you have a 1 in 75 shot of winning. So again, 9 to shop. good luck to everybody, and uh, speaking about giveaways, check this out. Alright, let's give them a try. There's no shoddy answer though. Who's this? Oh, what the? Hello? Hello? Wait, how? Wait, what the? I'm confused. Who is this? You called me. I, I just answered your call. Who is this? What? I just answered your call. You just called me. No, I did not. Do I know you? No, I know you. So you did call me. I don't. I didn't call you. You just called me. But this is fake. Huh? Um, is your name Joseph? Yes. Well, um, you just want a Servini's hood, my guy. You're lying. Not lying, man. Either a Servini's oh, hood or or a thousand dollars, brother. You're lying. Man. <laughs> I'm not lying, bro. Uh, you're lying. To me. <laughs> I'm not lying, dog. I'm serious. No, yeah, dude. We just picked your name. We just got. We just picked our winner, and it was you. What the? Yep. Oh my god. Yep, yep. Uh, I'm actually surprised you answered a random Facetime call. I was telling. I, know, I thought it was one of my homies too. I was like, what the? No, man. Yeah, you want you want a Servini hood. So um, I just wanted to call you on. You're on video right now. Just to let you know for okay. the vlog. But um, I mean, we'll get we'll get details worked out, but. Yeah. I want to just say thank you for um you know for entering and supporting and stuff yeah. and you bought a pair of socks you bought a yeah, pair of socks and yeah I mean hey that's all it takes though you know a pair yeah. of socks and you want a hood man so um, yeah. it's pretty pretty sick but yeah you you want to say anything to the vlog real quick uh I don't know I'm kind of nervous hi vlog <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but um do you have a Mustang or anything yeah I have an S550 oh shit what color is it outside. Yeah, let's go, let's go. All right, let's see it real quick. Let's see it real quick. It's kind of dirty, but I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna wash it today. I mean, you got a new hood coming, so you better wash that thing. Oh my god, I can't believe I won. <laughs> what part of California do you live in? I live. Let me turn off the Wi-Fi. I live in um in Santa Maria. It's a small town. Okay. Let's see. It. Oh hell yeah! Is that what color is that? Oh, that's gonna look I sick. Like blue. Hell yeah, yeah. dude. Well, congrats, yeah, man. 
Thank hell, you. Hell yeah. Well, um, well, I'm gonna shoot you a text, and uh, you know, we can we can okay. figure it out what you want to do, which one you want to get, and we'll figure out the details Thanks. of it. All right. All right, thank you, bro. All right, bro. You have a good rest of your night, all right? You too. All right, man, congrats. Bye. Well, there you go. Joseph was uh, pretty stuck. He actually answered. I'm not even kidding. This is one take. Not joking. I, I would never. Well, FaceTime, random FaceTime call, I probably would answer. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Phone calls, forget it. You're already getting blocked. Be on the lookout for the next giveaway. Subscribe to the channel and be ready. Holy moly, from the title and thumbnail of today's video, um, it's actually it's actually kind of crazy to speak about. I would have never thought with living in one of the most expensive areas in Richmond that this event in particular would have happened. So it's no secret, for the last two years, I've been living in a really, really nice gated apartment complex here in Short Pump, Virginia. And again, it's one of the nicest areas you can honestly live. And uh, while I was at Mustang Fest, I was sitting in the pool. We are playing like some, some weird pool game. I don't even know. Just hanging out, chilling, trying to enjoy myself. And I randomly got a text saying that there were a group, not one person, a group to like four to five different people in ski mask jump out of a car and start trying to break into all the cars in this area. And uh, Lucifer right there was one of those cars because today I decided that I was gonna take the car out, you know, stretch its legs, go to the gym, and I walk up to it and it's completely dead. Your father came over to me about, and you spoke to us on the phone uh, because your father couldn't actually explain it all. You are you the son? Oh no, I'm not the son. But are you talking about the break-in? Yes. Really? Oh, okay. I thought you were the son. No, yes. no, no, no. I, um, I just actually got word that they tried getting into my car as well. And I, yeah, someone's car over there got ran into his too, didn't they? Yeah. Um. The Mercedes. That yellow. That Mercedes. That yellow, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, the oh uh, the BMW, the yellow like BMW? BMW. Yeah. You know what? I was thinking about having a petition signed. And see if we can get some night security. Yeah, no kidding. Some cameras would be nice, so right? To six or some cameras. Yeah, especially in this neighborhood yeah. too. You know. You know, you know what? I keep saying I was going to get a petition going. I mm. actually don't. I want to, but I don't want to really jeopardize my stay here. Yeah. You what I'm saying? I mean, I'll sign it. Start it. I'll sign it. I've been all four cameras around okay, here, honestly. Oh, it's Derek. Derek. Yep, okay, Derek. Derek. That's you, huh? Yeah, yeah, these two cars, yep. Oh, okay. All right, we come they down here. trying to get yours, too? Yeah, they tried to get into mine, and I was actually just making a video on it, because I make videos and stuff, All and right. I went out today, and the car's completely dead, because I think the alarm was going off while I was on vacation, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I was just, just telling these guys, it's Hello. crazy. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good, Derek. I'm going to try to get down here in the morning. Okay. Get you out here. I mean, just to even come out to check your car, whatever. Yeah, uh, I mean, whenever, honestly. But, yeah, I come out. I, I drive them almost every day. So. Okay, so hopefully I can catch you. Yeah, definitely. Because I've already told a lot of people on out in real mm -hmm. drive down the other end. Okay, yeah, yeah. Money. Okay, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm all for it. I'll all sign right, it for sure. Right. <laughs> Have a good rest of your day. That was pretty convenient, um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I'm not trying to make this super huge deal, but it's just kind of crazy to me that like four to five different people rolled up here in one car and they were all wearing ski masks and they jumped out and started running to every car and you know, trying to see if they were unlocked. Now I will say I'm pretty good on locking the, the cars up, obviously. Um, and this shouldn't even be outside, so one, that's my fault. I do have a garage for it, which, you know, we are going to redo the garage and get this car back inside. Uh, as far as Hades, it is my daily driver, so um, having that in the garage and pulling it out, in, out, and out doesn't really make sense, but Lucifer, there is no uh, reason why that shouldn't be in there, and it's my fault. The car is completely dead, and before I left, I drove it because the car is on E85, and you want to keep that E85 cycled and keep it burning, keep it started here and there if you don't drive a vehicle a lot, so I drove it, I parked it, we went on the trip and I get back and the battery is completely fried. So um, I definitely uh, feel bad if um, you know this alarm was going off for a couple hours straight. I don't really know how alarms work. Uh, you know, if it does it go off for a certain amount of time and then cut off or does it just keep going off until the battery dies? I don't know, but I thought you guys would get a little kick out of that. Um, you know, they, they probably should have cinder blocked it and took the wheels, but... I mean, if I did happen to leave the door unlocked and they got in here, there's really not much they can take. I don't leave anything in the car. Uh, if they were smart, though, they would have invested some time into a socket set and took these $3,000 um, S197 Recaros. That would have definitely, um, you know, that would have been a lick for sure. I don't know if they got in or not. I really don't. And if the alarm went off, I feel like I would have been 
uh, notified about that because I wasn't here to turn it off. So that would have been very annoying um, midnight at, a, at an apartment complex. But it's possible that I did leave the door unlocked. That's for sure. And uh, if they just quickly opened it and um, you know didn't shut it all the way or what have you. So as I'm editing this video right now that you're currently watching, um, it's about it's about a day later. I got Lucifer's battery recharged and um, I plugged it all up and stuff. And I noticed the dome lights were on. I don't drive the car at night. There would be no reason for me to turn the dome lights on. I never touch those. They're automatic when you open and close the door. So I never touched them. So I, I don't know. I guess I did. I guess I left the car door unlocked. Um, yeah. And, uh, they, they obviously turned the lights on after closing it to rubble through all my shit. So, uh, it got lucky, I guess, but thankfully I didn't have anything expensive in there. But all right, back to the video. I don't want to make this a super huge deal. I just thought it was kind of funny in a way that, um, you know, the freaking week I'm out on vacation, someone tries to break into the car because uh, if you're like me, you pray for situations like this on site type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're like me and you're into the stuff I'm into, we pray for stuff like this. I, I wasn't here though. So I kind of missed out on the fun. Definitely my fault. Um, they probably should have stole it. I would have learned a lesson there. I got to go and be completely transparent with you all. Um, this video is all over the place. And with that, I want to go ahead and share the last little bit of Mustang Week 2022 footage that I have. And that's going to kind of transition into the outro of this video. But you're not going to want to miss the outro because I have some pretty crazy news. And news I have been itching to share with you all. So here's the Mustang Fest footage. Please watch through it. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, let's go. We just found a Hellcat. Wait, dude. Jig, why don't you put your window down, pussy? My shit's locked, dude. Oh my god. He's got the baby locks on up in this G-Wagon. He's like, let's talk shit. Doesn't put his window down. You wrote on yours. I had to roll down yours. That's Fuck. You don't want this? I don't know. You might have them. Damn, where the hit him? All right, this guy definitely knows. Where's he from? South Carolina? Look how big his tires are, bro. Oh yeah, he's bro, fucking you that up, dude. Dude. That dude. He's <laughs> fucking you up, dude. Cause you got this, dude. Gap him! Why don't I just fucking pit maneuver? Go with the one coming. Go with the one coming. Take him out. Probably do have a better chance of just wrecking him into the trees. Going right. back into the ocean, man. Leave him alone. I think he's on his way to yeah, the land. You would leave him alone, Teddy, because you get gap climb over a red eye. Huh. Dude, get out of the car. You're weighing us down. Yo, chill, bro. That's definitely Jake. He had four pieces of pizza today. Goddamn, is that a girl? That's a girl, dude. That's a girl. That's that's a girl. Girl. Fucking hair girl on has a beard. What are you talking about? Wow. That's normal now, dude. Wow. That's are normal. you assuming gender? I'm that's a female. Gender. I'm a female. I identify as a female. You heard it here first, folks. Brandon, Jake's what do you female. identify as? I don't know. Did you just try to kiss him? Fucking Willy Wonka. Dude, dude get the goddamn camera in my face, dude, bro. We want to race, dude. Dude, you gotta give us one run. It is on continental. Yeah. Unless I'm on a front surface, I can't, I can't. It's nice though, man. We'll go from an 80. <laughs> What's up? 80 roll. 80 roll. 80 roll. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give us a rev real quick. Sounds good. I'm hard as a rock. I'm harder than a 2x4, sir. Right. Have a good one, man. Hey, I'll be good. Dude, that's the first hippie Jeez. I've ever seen in a red eye. Wow, the excitement. They're decorating. What's it say? Aloha. Welcome to Hawaii, motherfucker. You can't say that on YouTube, so fuck you. What's that? Spare hydration. <laughs> when, when you get thirsty, don't look at me, motherfucker. Why do you think they call it H2? I don't know how it is. Thank you, Jordan. What a loser. I hope you guys enjoyed that last little bit of Mustang Fest footage. Um, let's go ahead and briefly touch on this real quick. And uh, that's Blucifer. The best looking Mustang that they ever produced, 1314 S197. Blucifer is sexy as hell. I almost forgot how nice it was. And uh, you know, I just gave it a bath. You saw in this video, someone, well, a couple people tried to freaking break into it, which is crazy because after I got done filming this, um, well, that, that first segment with the car outside, um, that night and the night after that, another guy was going around the neighborhoods, unlocking cars, getting into cars, and people caught him on their ring camera. So, 4,000 likes on this video. I will set up Hades the bait car or Blusa for the bait car and I will camp out in the back seat. You know, whatever happens. If someone rolls up and they get in, I'm going to spam the lock door button and I'm just going to keep them locked in and then we're going to fucking raise hell and praise Dale, baby. So 4,000 likes, make it happen. Go to the website, 9 Get your Mustang Fest 
DBP squad shirts, guys. They're gonna go quick, one to 75, and you have a chance to win our little hidden giveaway. That's all for now, goodbye.